first, ITV News can reveal an independent investigation has suggested workers at ASDA may not be receiving fair and equal pay. We've seen an email summarising the results of a report comparing the jobs of mostly female in-store workers to mostly male staff working in warehouse roles. Tens of thousands of workers have started legal action claiming that they have been discriminated against on the grounds of gender. It is a case that could cost ASDA £1.2 billion in back pay and have far-reaching consequences for the rest of the retail sector. Our Deputy Political Editor Anush Kristana has this exclusive report. I felt degraded. I felt that I'd been ill-treated. Checkout worker Jackie remembers finding out that mainly men working in ASDA's depots were earning significantly more than her. There's girls that I work with going to food banks. They've, they've come to me to, for help with debt. Michelle, who works in a different role on the shop floor, remembers how she felt too. Anger and frustration. Why should I, my work value, be any less than my male counterparts? I can't even afford to shop at the place I work. I have to go um, to budget retailers and shop there. Now both women are among 53,000 claimants in a huge equal pay case against ASDA, arguing the supermarket store workers should be on the same pay scales as those in the distribution centres. In Poole, Jackie's on £11.11 .11 an hour and says she can't believe we're still having this argument. When the equal pay went through, it was 1975, I was 15. And I'm still not getting equal pay. I'm still being treated like a second class citizen. I'm still having to fight for my right as a woman, and that's not fair. This is about equal pay because in Asda's depots, it's predominantly men earning £1.50 to £3 more an hour than mainly women in the stores. But these women say the jobs are comparable. They are putting the products onto pallets to take to shops. Obviously, when it gets to shops, it's a role reversal. We take the products off the pallets to put on shelves. And why, because he's a man, should he get more money than me? And I'm not militant. I don't believe, you know, I believe fair pay and being fair. We understand that the court commissioned an independent expert to look at the question at the heart of this equal pay battle. Are the jobs on Asda's shop floor of equal value to those in the distribution centre? The findings are confidential, but we've seen an email that suggests they could be helpful to the claimant's case. The leaked message that has not come from anyone seen in this report was sent to all claimants by their legal team and says the store roles and those in the depots were compared by being marked in 11 areas, including things like knowledge, physical demands and working conditions. To give you a sense of the overall report, they say, the average score for all the lead claimant roles that's those on the shop floor, was 453 points. A score slightly higher on average than for the comparators, those in the distribution centres, who got 447. So claimants might ask, why are the distribution workers paid more? Many are represented by the GMB union, which wouldn't comment on the leak, but claimed if ASDA lose, it could face a £1.2 billion compensation bill and an additional £400 million a year in increased pay. Why do you think that the women workers are paid less? <laughs> the entire retail sector has been built on the structural discrimination of, of women. Women's labour has been significantly undervalued and it's about time that society wakes up. Asda said the report was part of a complex case and confidential, suggested jobs wouldn't be compared using averages and said the findings were not a ruling by the court. A spokesperson said, at ASDA, male and female colleagues doing the same jobs in stores are paid the same, and this is equally true in our distribution centres. We continue to defend these claims because retail and distribution are very different sectors with their own distinct skill sets and rates of pay. But the leak suggests the claimant's lawyer thinks the report leans heavily in their favour. Jackie believes the gap is historic from when men were breadwinners and women's pay was seen as pocket money. Not anymore. I have to go to work to keep the roof over my head. And there's women out there that got children. They're not going to work for pin money. They're going to work to earn a living. That is certainly true for Michelle, who recently became a single parent, supporting four children, including a disabled son. She wants to set an example. I don't want my daughters to grow up saying to me, 
why wasn't I worth the same? And it's not just Asda. Lawyers say the outcome of this case could reverberate across the retail sector. Well, there you go. And as you say there, I mean, this is a pretty significant case, isn't it? And what could the wider implications be? Well, if I start with Asda, they would argue that this case has quite a long way to go. The Equal Value Tribunal will only be heard next year. The report I mentioned will be one part of the evidence, although independent lawyers tell me a very significant part. Even if Asda lose them, they can still argue that there are material reasons for the pay disparity. They're also trying to downplay gender a little bit, pointing out to me that a third of claimants are men. That is actually true. But look, an equal pay case cannot happen without a claim of sex discrimination. The key in this case is that the higher paid workers in the warehouses are predominantly men. There's less of a disparity in the stores, over half are women, but clearly the male shop workers could also benefit if Asda lose. Now, if they lose, I talked about the financial implications for them, but as you say, this is much bigger than that. These structures exist in lots of other supermarkets. In fact, they exist all across re retail. Male heavy warehouses, female heavy shop floors. That's why the employment lawyer Charlotte um, Rees-John from Irwin Mitchell said to me, other companies are watching this very, very closely. They believe if Asda were to lose, it could be the tip of the iceberg. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Anushka, thank you.